And welcome back, Fred Jackson Show, and our guest in the house tonight, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. C.J. Spiller. Well, C.J., you, you saw the first segment. We talked to Fred. Uh, you're feeling just about the whole situation where you take a young quarterback out, you bring in a veteran. How do you see it? Well, I mean, it's a tough situation for everybody that's involved. You know, like, like Fred said earlier, no one wants to see their uh, spot get taken from them. Uh, but like you said, it's a business, and uh, as players, you understand that if uh, you're not performing at a high level. Not saying that EJ wasn't, um, and things not going the way that uh, the coaches see that they need to be going. Change going to be made. So uh, we'll see how it works out. Uh, we have to rally uh, behind Kyle and go out there and get the job done. So would you have called uh – Mr. Watt? Yeah, I would have had a good chance. You know, uh, you know I, I, I got some young legs, so, you know, you know uh, so I'm, I'm, I think I should be, I think I'm one of the youngest guys in this league at the out of position, so I think I would have had a good chance of catching Mr. Watt. Uh, 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 you that, heard it here? that in your fan, so. Yeah, you know, I mean, that would have played a big role. Uh, the biggest part for me probably was just bringing him down. I would have, <laughs> while I'm running after him, I would have been thinking how I'm going to get him down. <laughs> uh, well, I, it just occurred to me, you're not going to be the oldest guy on the field Sunday. I think I still. Kyle's got to be older than you, you know? isn't he? He's not older than you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Fred's the old guy on the team. Uh, I think. <laughs> I think, I, think I got him by a year. Really? Yeah. yeah. Well, I, you should have changed your birth certificate. <laughs> I told you that. I'm still just gonna act like I'm young. I'm younger than he is. All right. You you just mentioned it's a business. You've got business to attend to in the off season. You've got a deal that you've got to decide. You're staying in Buffalo, moving on. <laughs> Do you talk about that at all during the season? Do you even think about it? Uh, I mean, I'd be sitting here lying to you if I said I didn't think about it. Uh, but. You know, it's one of those things that, you know, hopefully both parties can be able to get something done. Uh, I'd have been on record saying that I want to stay in here in Buffalo. I mean, I've really uh, grown close to this community, to this town. Then you just have great people, great teammates like Fred and, you know, others on the team that you just grow close to and that you'll love to finish your career with. So, uh, you know, but my main focus is just going out there each Sunday and just trying to play. You know, I think about it, you know, like on a Monday or Tuesday, but then after that, all my attention focuses on to the next opponent. So. Uh, but, you know, like I said, I, I hopefully we can get something done, uh, hopefully soon, uh, so I can be a Buffalo Bill for life. Okay. <laughs> you, you heard it. Buffalo Bill for life. <laughs> One of the things that they got you doing this year is the kickoff returns. How, did, yeah. how do you feel about that? Uh, I mean, it's been great. You know, um, I hadn't done it since my rookie year. Uh, so it was kind of just pretty much getting back into the groove of things. But now I think I kind of got back comfortable. Uh, kind of had a blooper yesterday. Uh, with with uh, being back there, uh, making a decision to either bring it out or uh, stay in. But other than that, the guys have done a great job of blocking their mans. And pretty much for me, it's just pretty much see what I uh, use my vision, use my speed. Fred, you had to make some decisions at the ten yard line yesterday on the punt returns too. I did, you know, and uh, two of them came back to bite me in the butt. One of them got stepped <laughs> on the line, but uh, you know, he was he had some great kicks that just bounced straight up in the air once they hit and. Uh, I talked to, you know, Danny, and I said, you know, was it a good decision? He said it was a good decision. He just got a good bounce out of him. Let's turn to uh, Brad Gelber, who I'm sure has some questions from Twitter. Brad, what do we have? Yeah, the uh, first one's going to be from Annie, and she wants to know, it's for both of you. She said, were you surprised there weren't more running plays since Houston's defense couldn't stop the run the week before? Well, we, uh, it was in the game plan. You know, uh, obviously going through a game, uh, things change, and uh, it, it – we got away from the run game that uh, a little early, you know, and uh, we we didn't get a chance to take some of that pressure off for EJ and our receivers. Uh, obviously, we would like to carry the ball. You know, I want the ball 20, 25 times. I'm sure CJ's the same way, wants the ball 20, 25 times. And, uh, you know, so hopefully we can get that taken care of. If we do, it's going to take a lot of pressure off of Kyle and uh, whoever's back there quarterback for us. Uh, just like Fred says, uh, you go into a game plan, to a game with, you know, what you want to do as an offense, and, you know, things kind of deteriorate when, uh, especially at the, towards the end, you have to get into a passing game because now you're trying to get points on the, on the scoreboard. So, you know, um, so we'll, we'll look at it, see what we can do better, see what we can, uh, uh, the mistakes that we can learn from, and, you know, be excited about that. Okay, Brad, what's next? Yep, the next one's for uh, CJ. It's from Sandra. She wants to know, CJ, what's it like getting to play with another Clemson star and Sammy Watkins, and did you talk to him prior to the draft? Uh, I mean, it's been an honor to play with him. Uh, obviously, I followed his career while he was at Clemson, and 
I had a chance to speak with him uh, during the, uh, the pre-draft uh, process, and you know, just trying to make sure that he just stayed focused. Uh, don't worry about it, you know any of the noise, any of the media outlets, and that you know everything take care of itself. That he had to put down, you know, all the hard work, which was his, you know, his play on tape. So, you know, and so now having a chance to play with him, uh, it's definitely been an honor. Uh, so, uh, but I mean, he's still a rookie, so that's how we're treating him. <laughs> Brad, next. <laughs> yeah, the next one's from uh, Buffalo Mommy, and she wants to know uh, how much practice has Orton had uh, it, since the preseason with you guys? Oh, he's he's getting practice every day. You know, he, he's there taking, you know, uh, one of the things about a guy like Kyle is he's taking a lot of mental reps. Every time he's there, you come back to the huddle or to the sideline, and he's talking to, to, you know, guys like myself, the receivers, EJ, about what he's seeing. So he's definitely getting the reps. He knows the offense. He's in the room talking to Nate like he's playing every day. So uh, we're not worried about that at all. He'll be ready to go for us on Sunday. Okay, last one, Brad. Yep, uh, this one's from uh, John, and it's for CJ. He wants to know, uh, since Fred is considered one of the older guys on the team, uh, what has he learned uh, from him other than leadership? What have I learned from Fred yep. other than leadership? Uh, the biggest thing is just taking care of your body, uh, um, you know, how to prepare for a game, uh, and then also, uh, also how to just step away from it if you need to. So, you know, it's, it's been some great things. Uh, we've had a great ride, you know, since I've been here. And like I said, uh, hopefully we can c continue that, you know, for, for many more years. Okay, they're telling me we have time for one more question, Brad. Yeah, uh, this is a good one. It's from Kim. Um, she wants to know, any news on Bryce Brown? Has he been continuing to improve in practice? Have you guys you, to stay in touch with him, obviously? Oh, uh, yeah, Bryce, he's doing a great job. You know, uh, he, each and every day he comes ready to work. Uh, I mean, he's, he's doing what he can to better himself as a player, as a person. So, you know, we're excited to have him on the team. Uh, I mean, Kim can know that he, he's a dog lover, so he loves his dogs. So we have to make sure that uh, his dogs are taken care of. He's definitely preparing. He'll be ready if uh, his number's called. He's coming to work every day, doing everything he can to get better in the system. Okay, you know, uh, speaking of Twitter, I, I follow you on, on Twitter, and you impressed me in the CJ. You're, you're a very spiritual guy. I mean, mm -hmm. some of the uh, the lines from, uh, from, from Psalms and everything on that you put on Twitter, that's how you start your day? That's pretty much how I start my day. Uh, wake up early in the morning, uh, try to read something, and then uh, get on my phone and then post that. So it's just something just to get me going uh, because, uh, once you, I mean, once you get to the building, you know, there's so much things going on. So you want to just make sure you're in the right mind and frame. But, you know, it's just something that, you know, that I always have done and, you know, other people that really noticed that and it really that helped them. Okay. I enjoy it. I enjoy reading it every day. We're going to take a break. We'll come back. DJ Dave Jixter from 97 Rock right after this. <laughs> 